Hi, this is David McKenzie from GolfStateOfMind.com. Thanks for joining me for this short mental game lesson. This one is on switching on your golf brain and switching off your golf brain. Why would you need to do this? Well, the game of golf lasts anywhere between four and five hours, and it's impossible for anyone to concentrate for that long. So we need to break it up into small periods of intense concentration and long periods of relaxation when you're in between shots. So what we need to do is include in the routine a way that you can trigger, on, trigger the switch on of your golf brain and then trigger the switch off of your golf brain. So these would be things that you wouldn't normally do. So for example, when you're approaching your ball, which is hopefully in the middle of the fairway, you would, as, as you, when you get to your ball, you could say a word or it could be the action of pulling out your yardage book out of your pocket. It could be um, pulling your, your, your laser range finder out of your bag. Um, it could be a deep breath. Um, something that you can do that says it's time to switch on my golf brain. So then you go through the steps of your routine, um, which are more intense because you've had a pe period of relaxation before. And then at the end of the routine, you're going to switch off your golf brain. So we don't want you thinking about golf or your shots or your swing or your score in between shots which can create anxiety. We want you calming yourself down, getting in the present moment, paying attention to, to the beautiful surroundings you've got. And so to do that, um, which can also be synonymous with an acceptance trigger, accepting the shot and moving on, um, you're going to have another trigger at the end of the routine. It could be something fairly similar, another a word accept and move on or it could be another deep breath it could be the action of putting the, the club back in the bag or taking off your glove so those are some examples of switch on and switch off triggers the more you're able to relax in between shots the better your concentration is going to be during your shot routine and the better your shots will be thanks very much for taking the time to listen to this mental game lesson this is david mckenzie from golfstateofmind.com